guys, me, your host, Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got a bunch of stuff. So, I didn't do a vlog today uh, because I decided to do one big haul when I got home. So, I'm going to show you everything that I picked up today on my little outing. I went to Wakefield, which is a, it's a local city near me. Oh, town. I know it's technically a city, I believe. But, um, yeah, uh, I went there and I picked up a bunch of stuff. So, thought I'd share with you today what I got. So, let's jump straight in. Uh, we will jump in at the Halloween item first because this is the you're gonna see this now And then it'll be going away and be reviewed during the month of October Something a little bit different this time. This is the WandaVision statue So this is uh, from the WandaVision TV series. It's Wanda on Halloween night This is a Beast Kingdom statue and it is awesome. It's got the pumpkins and stuff It just it just screams Halloween to me. I love it so much uh, so I got this from Wakefield Comics 616, and one that looks awesome. I love the way she looks on this, and it's a great little, it's full of pumpkins and stuff. It just has that Halloween feel. So I thought I'd grab this for our Halloween reviews. So stay tuned to the channel during October, and you'll see her unboxed then. So popping that to one side for now. Okay. I went to Asda, and I got a bunch of DVDs. Yes, DVDs. Didn't bother with Blu-rays because eh, you never know if the film, if these films are going to be good or not. So I didn't bother with Blu-rays because I wanted to see if the film was any good first. So we got uh, a couple of like thriller slash horror stuff. We've got a film called X, which looks pretty cool. In 1979, a group of young filmmakers set out to make an adult film in rural Texas, but when their recluse, but when their reclu reclusive elderly hosts catch them in the act. The cast find themselves fighting for their lives, so that looks fun. Then we've got King, uh, we've got Stephen King's Firestarter. This has been made by Blumhouse, so it looks pretty cool, and it actually um, stars um, Zac Efron, which looks pretty cool. Blumhouse reignites Firestarter with this explosive adaptation of the classic Stephen King thriller, protected by her parents. Charlie has lived her livelihood, sorry, her childhood on the run and has kept her extraordinary pyro, pyrokinetic powers in check. But now that she's turning 11, the flames are harder to control and sinister forces are seeking to capture her. Charlie must learn to embrace the fire from within and fight to control it, to fight to control it in order to protect her family and her freedom. So, and it's like the special edition version, apparently it's got like 40 minutes extra footage or something, so, interesting. Then we've got a film called The Voices. This was only a fiver. After a failed suicide attempt, a young woman wakes from her coma uh, to a life she doesn't remember. Her loving husband tends to her every need as she recovers, but soon finds him crossing the line and becoming controlling. Soon her fragile reality tumbles into a nightmare where nothing is as it seems and the ultimate evil vice versa all. So, looks like a cool horror film. And it's, um... Ah, oh, what's his name that's in it? Um, I'm trying to see on the back really quickly. Nope. Okay, <laughs> his name's not listed for some reason. Uh, but yeah. Him. Him. That guy. <laughs> and then, because I couldn't resist, E.T. for two pounds! Yeah! Now, hate me if you want. Kick me. Beat me up. Whatever. Do you know I've never seen this film in its entirety? <laughs> I used to see it to a certain point as a kid and then turn it off. I don't think I've ever actually seen this film, like, in its full entirety. So, and with it being the, I think it's the 40th anniversary of E.T. this year, I thought I'd pick that up. Two quid, man. <coughs> I cannot go wrong at two pounds. <coughs> so that was my physical media pickups. Then we went to, uh, sorry, continuing... The haul from, Wake, from Wakefield Comics, I got a bunch of other stuff. My bag split on the way home. <clears throat> from the new Into the Spider-Verse, I picked up Spider-Man 2099. This is the basic basic action figure. Um, if you remember, I picked up a bunch of these when the first film came out. So I didn't feel the need to pick up Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen. Because I kind of have those from the first film in this fall, in like this style. So I thought I'd go for the newest member of the of the crew, which is going to be Spider-Man 2099. Trying to create the new superhero, uh, Miguel O'Hara accidentally turned himself into the best Spider-Man in the multiverse. Very excited about that. And back on the Marvel Legends, 
we've got a new Thor figure. Couldn't resist picking this up. This is from the Marvel's Controller Wave. Couldn't resist picking this one up. Um, it's the like it's the new Her Her Herald of Galactus Thor, I believe this one. Thor does does the unthinkable when he be yeah when he becomes the new Herald of Galactus, aligning with the Great Devourer to stop an even greater threat. So this is really cool because it comes with uh, the Crow and stuff, which I really want, or Raven, probably Raven. Uh, it comes with a bunch of um, hands and stuff, and it comes with the translucent hammer, which look which looks really cool. So had to pick that up, couldn't resist. Really happy to have that. And then a couple of comic pickups for this month. Well, for this week. We got the next issue of Willy's Wonderland. I've been really enjoying reading that. Ooh, I've just seen on the I've just seen on the back. On the back there's gonna be a new comic zone called Lady Zorro versus the Swamp Witch. <laughs> Interesting. And then we've got uh, Vampirella and Dracula Unholy. You know me, I love a good vampire story, so Dracula and uh, Vamp and uh, Vampirella. So that should be a pretty cool story. Had to grab those. Okay, now we're on to the two boxes. So, box number one. In fact, we'll, we'll, we'll do the big heavy box first. This box is from uh, Fan Home, which sends us stuff each and every single month to my doorstep from Star Wars. This feels heavy, so this is going to be the encyclopedias, because I do get the ships and the encyclopedias sent. Ooh, first things first, they've sent a new little mug. An official 11 ounce Star Wars mug, that looks pretty nice, the first order. And then the books that they've sent us this month. The next bunch of issues. We have The Crisis on Naboo. That looks pretty cool. Battle Droids and Other Droids of War. Naval Weapons and Equipment. Oh, and finally, Din Djarin and other characters from the other world, including Cara Dune, Fennec Shand, Zori Bliss, and Bazin Natal. Very cool. So, thank you very much, Fan Home, for sending those through to the channel. I will be looking forward to giving those a read this month. And then finally, but wait, there's more! Last one to do, guys. We've got a package here from In Demand Toys. What have we got? What's in the box? It's a good job I'm a card opener. It's a good job I'm an opener, isn't it? That was that wasn't packaged very well. It's not. It's very rare I say that about in demand or anyone, but that was not packaged well. Jesus. Luckily, I'm a card opener, so I'm not bothered. As long as I've got the figure, that's what I care about. G.I. Joe, American hero, G.I. Joe is there. And we've got Gung Ho. And this is Gung Ho in his sort of like classic uh, sort of attire. It's that like really uh, light bluey green camo. And uh, I really like the look of that. It comes with his, his hat as well, which looks pretty cool. So yeah. And it comes with a new shotgun and a pistol and a new backpack. Because I don't believe the original one came with that backpack, I don't think. But yeah, either way, such an amazing looking character. Cannot wait to give him a review. Because if you guys remember, I used my gung-ho uh, body for a custom. Which is on my shelf, which I'm, that's, what, that's what I'm looking around at. He's up there on the shelf. So, looking forward to having the new gung-ho to replace my old one with. Because I do like this one more. I love the colour scheme on this one. It feels very retro. So, yeah, looking forward to reviewing that. So, guys, what should I review first? I've got the new Gung-Ho, we've got the new Spider-Man 2099, and, of course, Marvel Legends Thor. Let me know in the comments down below, and also, don't forget, Wanda will be coming up during our October reviews. Plenty of awesome stuff coming to the channel that you wouldn't want to miss, so if you are new around here, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, it really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, may the force be with you. Bye! <laughs>